Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk back in another video today, and today with the hiring of the Houston Rockets, hiring Ime Yudoka as their head future head coach, I will be talking about what I think the Houston Rockets plan, potential plan could be in the offseason as things start to get started as they officially hire Ime Yudoka. I can't wait for, alright, here's the next thing, introduce Ime Yudoka, get that press conference done, I don't know when that's going to be, that probably will be in the next days to week. I'm very excited for that. That's the next thing you do. You get the you introduce him to Houston. Get him f fly to Houston. Um, I I think he can still, uh, even though, yeah, okay, they've finalized the contract, so you can do they can they can do the you know the press conference. That's the next thing in order. Then, uh, tomorrow, which is what's today? I can't even remember what day it is. Today's Monday, so tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Uh, which tomorrow is Tuesday. You are officially three weeks three weeks away from the NBA draft lottery. So from then on the NBA draft lottery, you have the one of the biggest nights of the season for you. I mean, this could be a bigger night than any game that you play next season. To the night you find out what pick you will be selecting in the NBA 2023 NBA draft. Will it be one? Will it be two? Or I hate to say it, but it could be three or four, or even possibly even higher. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I I hate to jinx the Rockets like that, but I mean, the Pistons they got five last year, and I think they were one of the worst. They had the last year had they had one of the worst records in basketball. They had like top two or top three, and they got the they had like top two. I think Rockets had one, and I think. Either they had two or Magic had two. So, um, yeah, I think that, I mean, you never know with these lotteries. But what I will say is that the Rockets should be set up in, in the, with either the first or the second or, God forbid, the third, which you can still really get a good prospect at the third overall pick. But we're going to say that the Rockets, in, in all hopes, that we're going to say the Rockets get the first overall pick. You add in Winbin Yama. Then you go after the big check in free agency. You sign James Harden free agency. We are we've heard about all the rumors that James Harden wants to come back to Houston. The Rockets want to, you know, the Rockets want to. The James Harden wants to return to Houston, and the Rockets want to. Um, the Rockets want to bring him back. You know, Ime. He was very interested. Well, well I don't know about him, but. But the boss, the Celtics were one of those teams that could have potentially traded for Harden back in the deadline a couple seasons ago. The twenty or what was that? The twenty two uh, March two thousand twenty or April February two thousand twenty two. The deadline. Boston was one of those teams that was interested. But the problem with Boston is they probably had to give up Jalen Brown in order to land James Harden, who would be a free agent in two years. So I don't know if that was Ime Udoka who wanted Harden on the team. I don't know. We'll never know. But I think Ime Adoka would probably like Harden to be on the roster with them um, and try to win. So then you add in Harden. You either add in Win Binyama or Scoot Henderson. We're going to be going through both lineups. If Scoot is in, Scoot's at the one. Harden's at the two. Jalen makes a transition to the three. Jabari plays the four. And Al P pays the five. Now, if you draft Win Binyama, if you get the first overall pick, Harden plays the one. Jalen plays the two. Jabari plays the three, when Binyama plays the four, and Sengun plays the five. So, or vice versa, uh, LP plays the four, and when Binyama plays the five. I don't know what, I don't know what Ime Yudoka would do. Um, what, I think when Binyama is like four inches taller, but he's more of a power forward, way more, he's a better, he's a better shooter. So I think when B would be playing the power forward in that offense. Uh, so yeah. All right, moving on um, to free agency. Besides Harden, I don't know what else you can do because the rotation. Because you already have Tari East in the rotation. Is KPJ still in the rotation? I think there is a chance KPJ possibly gets traded. But, I mean, there is a chance he does come off the bench for this rock, the Rockets in this season. I, I, I don't know. It's hard to see. It's hard, it's hard to say. But I do think that... We're gonna in this in this in this offseason plan, we're gonna keep KPJ as the sixth man. So KPJ stays as the sixth man alongside Tari Eason off the bench. 
Then we're going to sign Nas Reed. I think the Rockets are going to look after a backup center uh, because the, the Rockets kind of struggled at that position last season. I think this is a perfect move for the Rockets with backup center. He's a good shooter. He's a, he's a little undersized. He's 6'9", but he's t- he, he, he's a, he's a, he acts a little bigger than 6'9". He's a good block. He's a, shot, he's a good shot blocker. He's a good shooter. I think he'd be a good addition for the Rockets. I don't really know any other free agent names for the Rockets to bring in. Maybe if you get rid of Kev Borey Jr., I can maybe see the Rockets being interested in adding in Grizzlies backup point guard, Tyus Jones. That could be a really realistic option for the Rockets if they get rid of KPJ. But, and then I don't know. I don't, do you, is Jay Sean and KPJ, are they staying on the roster? Those are huge questions, question marks for this Rockets roster. I, I don't know. We, we're going to have to find out, you know, it's going to, it's going to, we're not going to know until like June, July, but are KPJ... It, 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 the Rockets might get rid of both. They might get rid of one. I think one. I think most likely for the Rockets, one of KPJ will stay. One of KPJ or Jay Sean will stay, and one will go. I th- that's what I think. KPJ goes. I think Jay Sean Tate will most likely become like the basically backup point guard. He's he's a small forward, but you can put him in, and he's basically playing the point guard role. Um, so I think if Jay Sean stays and KPJ goes, Jay Sean Tate. Is like the point guard of the second unit, basically. But, yeah, I, other stuff, I don't really know. I think it's way too early to that because we have no idea what some of the stuff the Rockets will do. I don't think the Rockets are interested in resetting KJ Martin, but, I mean, we can't even put that out of the question mark. I think we, I honestly think we we, we have to wait and see, you know, to hear from Ime first. Maybe he'll, you know, shed some light to, he's not going to give us all the, details but he maybe shed some light to maybe what some of the plans might be when to you know you know with the offense and you know with i don't know i don't know i will just have to wait to see when Ime is introduced as a rocket i'm really excited guys i hope you guys are too uh but right now here are two targets in free agency james harden and nas reed the, and tyus jones those are three i got right now and potentially austin reeves the rockets have money to spend and there are a lot of teams that are interested in Austin Reeves. The Rockets could be interested to add him in for bench firepower. Don't I, that one that could be a really sneaky surprise for the Rockets. Then I don't know anything about trade targets. I think it's way too early to be talking about trades in the NBA because and you can talk about you can start talking about free agency because we know who's free agents. You just don't know who's going to be available. You have some ideas who's going to be available in the trade market yet, but. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens. It's gonna it's gonna go by day by day for these rockets. But you guys have your thoughts on the video. Let me hear your thoughts on my off season plan. And this is not this is not this is I don't want this to. Ta- I mean I want Harden to come to Houston. Don't get me wrong. But I think there will be changes that I make in these offensive plans. Uh, these off season plans. I think we uh, there will. Th- this is not the end of the road for the Rockets. Th- we got a lot of time in the offseason. You guys are your thoughts on the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out. Go Rockets.